this video, I'm gonna be making a super fancy house where people rarely make houses. And that is gonna be an end city. I'm gonna transform a pretty gross and kind of ugly end city into a very beautiful house. To do that though, I'm gonna need hella resources. As collecting resources, I'm gonna need a bunch of these stone bricks, but that is not enough. There we are, that's plenty of blocks. We're gonna convert most of them into stone bricks. I'm actually going to cook them into cracked bricks. I'm gonna grab my trusty scissors and go collect a bunch of leaves. Yeah, that doesn't look weird at all. But we got all the leaves that we're needing, along with some saplings, just so that I can plant my own trees. We're not there yet, but we're getting close. We still have over a stack, we, are, we still have over a stack though, left cooking. And we're gonna be trying to get a silk touch shovel so I can get a bunch of grass blocks. Unbreaking, unbreaking, actually, I'll take an unbreaking three. Please be more. Whoa, fortune three, no! I was very impressed, but nope. Okay, unbreaking three, please don't be, okay, perfect. We slap the, the silk touch on it, and just like that, we have the perfect shovel. Just like that, a stacks of grass has been collected. I also grabbed some empty maps, just because I thought it'd be kind of fun to map out my area once it was all done, just since I thought it would look pretty cool. So, I also need to check to see if my cracked stuff is, oh, it appears to be done. Alrighty, and just like that, I think we are ready to go. Of course, it's night again. I'm gonna go take a little snooze. Uh, see, it's always so scary leaving, because I don't want to forget anything. Goodbye, home. It is kind of sad leaving here just because I don't know how long it'll be till I come back. But you know what? This is what adventure is for. And there's the stronghold village coming into sight. I am kind of happy to be back. Already required a little bit of mining, but this is the spot. This is where I should land right in the portal room. Hopefully not in the lava. Oh, whoa. Alrighty, there we are. We're going to go away from the portal room. And I think we're just gonna try to collect a stack or so. There's a stack collected. I just realized I don't have a single pearl. Okay, I took this flower all the way from my house, but I think it's time for it to go because I need pearl room. There we are, perfect. That'll, that'll work. Oh, alrighty then. There's a bridge. I know I'm going the right way because I'm following my bridges. There it is, yep, right there. It's not the biggest one, but it's definitely a big one. First step to making this place my new home is gonna actually be to kill all the roommates. Damn, that's one dead. He's in his box. There we go, I'm gonna find him these guys. I was thinking that that was... You know what, just for fun, I think I'm gonna try to do this parkour course. I have an elytra and I have blocks, but it's kind of just for fun. Way there. Oh, look at that, guys. We made it. Yay, we're so cool. Ignore that. Uh, actually, maybe hit me. Hit me. No. Oh, never mind. That worked. All right, now I believe that the first thing I'm going to do, just since I need to break this into spots, is everywhere where it's a pillar like this, I'm going to replace it with wood. There we go. Just like that. Now we're gonna do that everywhere it's a pillar. This will probably only take me like 17 billion hours. I've been spending a couple hours working on this and I am already out of wood except for these three logs right here. And at first I was really, really scared because I didn't really know what I was supposed to do. Then I remembered that I brought, out there, uh, saplings. And I'm planning on pl replacing this with grass later, just not right now, that's gonna be like near the end. Come on, please. Please, I don't know, I'll get rid of these, which is just annoying. Oh yes, it worked, kind of. It's a smaller one, but you know what, it's still one, and I'm just gonna, I can let it drop its seeds, and I'll just keep redoing this. And just like that, that is all of the wood done, and I still have a lot of wood somewhere. I still have a solid amount of wood left to spare, and sapling so I can grow more. Now it's time to work on one of the bigger projects, and that is gonna be all the stone. And I did get a stone cutter just so that I could make them into stairs cheaply because I'm gonna need a lot of it. Okay, I've been grinding this for a long time now and so far it is looking amazing. Like just, it looks great. I love the look, this tower is almost done. I just need to add the stairs that go around of these top two layers and then this, this part, this portion of it is all done. And I am just saying it looks amazing. I'm super excited, especially when I add more greenery and more like up close, oops, 
more up close to that, uh, decoration, this is going to be a, an amazing looking building. However, I have run into one slight issue, and that issue is that I am completely out of stone. So my goal is going to be actually to empty out one of these shulker boxes and then fill up the entire shulker box with stone just so that I know that I will not be needing any more for a long, long time. After so long of just holding down a trigger and mining, I have made a collected a full shulker box of stone and it was like almost two stacks extra. This should hopefully be plenty so I don't need to come back and get more and I can finish the build. Now, I did also just grab a couple other things like name tags, name the fish so they don't go away, you know, just some other stuff for some small decorations. One thing that I did realize that I should get is actually some ice. It'll be an easy way to fill in the pool so I don't need to use blocks and use a bunch of buckets and stuff. I can just use the ice. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but, so I'm just going to get a stack just to be safe. Alrighty, there's a stack of the ice. Now I just get to do the super long and annoying journey to get all the way back to the stronghold. Hoping that we should be getting somewhat close here soon. I also, while I was here, I grabbed some more mossy stone bricks and the flower that I dropped off from earlier. I swear, this one flower that I've been holding on to has had more plots than the entire prequels of the Star Wars franchise. And there it is, it's coming into sight. I love it, I'm so excited for this to be done. I don't think you guys quite understand how long this takes to replace all the blocks. Like this has literally been already a maybe five or six hour project just to get it this far and I may be halfway. So let's get right into it though. The worst thing happened. I was working on the bottom side of the ship and I died. I'm not even kidding. I wasn't recording when it happened but I literally just was working on the bottom at this edge. I accidentally uncrouched and just fell straight into the void. I tried to fly out using my elytra, but I did not make it. So I was starting from the beginning. I now just now most of the videos can be spent on me just getting back to where I was. Luckily, I have some books that I'll work out. I have some good pants and armor, so I should, and I have a couple extra netherite ingots. I should be able to. Oh, and my shovel and hoe survived, but everything else I'll need to remake. I'm table with some books and some bookshelves and lapis. First thing I need to do though is gonna have to travel the old fashioned way, which is by horse. I'm gonna use Jonathan and we're gonna go all the way over to my XP farm, which luckily also happens to be by my trading farm. I genuinely forgot how terrible it is not to travel by flight. There is my XP farm. It is actually just a, it's a pigment farm, a zombie pigment farm. Listen, pal, come on, Jonathan, into the hole. I know, I know, I'm sorry, you gotta stay there. Can't lose you too. You come here and here they all are and I'll be able to collect them and kill them. It's level 52, which I think is gonna be high enough level for now. Now, let's see. Oh yeah, I got a saw in my gold. I have almost four stacks of gold, which converts into 26 blocks. That's pretty good. And as I was waiting for the, some pigment to spawn, I was also growing a lot of trees just so I could collect, start collecting wood because I need to regain all the wood that I lost. Making as much rotten flesh as I can hold just because I'll be able to trade the rotten flesh into emeralds later. I'm just going to use my emeralds and use all my levels and hopefully try to get the best armor and tools that I can using everything. Hopefully I'll be able to get close to what I had before but it won't be perfect. So I was just mining by business, taking Jonathan across the valley trying to get to the stronghold. I was passing through Pup 900's little house until this happened. I used all of my power inside me to try to save Jonathan. I got really close and I thought that we were safe. And then I turned around. Bruh. He was gone. This little asshole just walked <laughs> right into the snow wall again. So I went back trying to save his ass again. He's literally stupid. I was able to find him mining through trying to save him. I knew where he was, but he seemed to be keep walking deeper into the snow. And then I found him. Since he died, I was definitely not ready to walk the whole way to the stronghold. So I decided to talk to my old friend, Pup900. Yeah, I see the mangrove trees. That actually looks sick. Where are you? I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to, no idea how to get anywhere. On this, up to here. I feel like there's an easier way to do this. Just jump off. Find that chest. Yep, go through that. This way? Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it fast? I can't tell by looking at it. You have to tell me. Jeez, you have so many freaking horses. Oh, you found a good one? 
No, that's okay. We just need it. Whoa. High bounce. No. Okay, okay. okay. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. What are you doing? Come back. Okay, okay. Off. Oh. Actually, this is a lot faster than Jonathan. I'm happy Jonathan died. What do you want to be paid in? Stone? Wood? Diamonds? Fine, two, because you're such a heckler. It's been a pleasure doing business. Hey, whoa! You you sold me the horse and then tried to kill it? Okay, its jump is terrible. Holy cow. A few moments later. I have been walking for hours. I can't explain how long I've been walking, but I should be getting close. And honestly, I have gotten almost everything back. Like my armor is pretty much all back to where it was. My helmet's a little worse, but that's okay. I am missing some netherite on my tools. The big thing I'm missing is my sword. It does not have any looting on it. And I spent a long time trying to get looting on it and I could just not. The whole entire city so far is done. The only thing that I need to continue to work on is actually just the ship. But come on guys, wow, I pissed off a lot of people. I'm sorry. But as you can see, I was just over here. I uncrouched and just fell straight down there and died. Let's just get to building this and converting this to what it's supposed to be. Alrighty, the ship is now done. And I'm so excited to show you guys it actually. So because I haven't finished the bottom yet, but because I don't know how I'm gonna get back up to the top of the ship, like since I don't have my elytra, I'm just gonna give you the tour of the ship right now. So here's the top, here's the very top of it, and I think it looks pretty, it's pretty cozy up here. It looks like a tree top, like, looks like this is a tree that we just turned into a watchtower. It looks very nice, and you can see it far away. There's also a pretty good view of down there. Now let's just get down. I did purposely leave this area pretty open, just because I feel like the deck of a ship is usually pretty open. I was thinking about putting some tables or something up here, but I thought it'd be best if not. When you go up here, we got some beautiful trees and some a very nice chair that gives you a pretty nice look out of the building over there. I mean, you can't see down there or anything, but I feel like this is just a good little throne. Then you work your way downstairs. We still have the brewing stand. I was thinking about getting rid of it, but I'm like, you know what? I might as well keep it. Like, I think it's pretty cool. I feel like it fits like the tree vibe over here. So I'm like, you know what? It's gonna stay. Turn the corner and come down here. You've got the flower that has been traveling for so long and has been here this whole video by my side. And all on the chest, this one just has lapis. I'll fill these up later. This one I think is just, yeah, it has nothing really helpful. Turn around, we've got some very nice dinner tables. This is where I'll like eat dinner with my friends and stuff. This is where we'll hang out. And we've got the enchantment area. This is a maxed out area. Like this is a maxed out enchantment table with the crap table right there. I am a little bummed because these woods don't match so it looks a little funky. But overall I actually like it and it looks great. Well first thing I have to do is destroy this pitiful area. Here we are. No more construction on the boat. It is flying up there. Just imagine if I saw a little piece of purple now on the bottom, but I don't. And the ship looks pretty cool. Now we are getting to the very close to the end of this project. I am just going to decorate this place. That means add grass along here, trees and ponds and add furniture and just like I did with the ship, but do it for this entire thing. This will take me a while, but I think this is going to be the most fun part. After I'm done with this, I'll give you guys a tour. This is it. After a week, after dozens and dozens of hours, I finished this massive project. There's the ship, already showed it to you guys, but now it's time to show you the rest. So here is the area. The one thing that's really annoying is that people keep stealing my blocks. I did not realize this is about six stacks of grass, and it only covered up about this amount. So like, it, it was, the grass is not much, but I still think it looks cool. It's very, lots of flowers, lots of grass. It looked in a little bit more filled before all the um, endermen stole my grass blocks, but it still looks good. I made this little campfire area over here if you want to sit and tell stories. It's pretty sweet. It's over here, I have a little fish tank. Uh, you can't see, I actually did name them just so they didn't spawn. That's Carl right there in the purple and green, and that's Stuart right there, the cod. So they won't despawn, so they'll be there forever if nothing kills them. 
and yeah so I, overall i'm pretty happy with how the outside looks it did spend a while replacing all the end rods with these lanterns just because i didn't want anything left of the end to be here including those end rods so now it's just the lanterns this bottom down here is not that big i need to quickly change this there we go is not that different. It just has some little couches here just to sit and chat if you need to. But it's overall, I mean, since it's wide open, it's not too much here. Then you go up to the next floor. And then I have the kitchen. Here's my little personal dinner, dining room. I have some furnaces, a stone cutter, you know, just some just some kitchen kitchenware. Also I have some like little house make like house plants in the each corner. Pretty sweet. You go up to the next level. Here are just some shelves. Just like shelves keep stuff. Right now it's only a flower pot, but it could be a couple more. And over here is the sad in memory of science, in memory of Jonathan, Jonathan 2.0, and most importantly, my elytra, which, is, which was enchanted with Mending and Unbreaking 3. Then if you go up here, I'm going to keep going. In the top up here, it's just a little look at, I didn't add anything up here, I just think it's kind of like a nice, calm, isolated area. Here's, here's the bridge. I think the bridge looks pretty cool. Kind of these trees in the middle. This is where you get a good view of the ship and just a good view of everything. The bridge, I think, just looks amazing. We move over here. This room is mainly parkour, just since it takes a little bit of parkour to get there, which is kind of a playground. I have an anvil along with some chest with some stuff to use the anvil for, just so that later I can use anvil if I need it. This is kind of my anvil room. And here's this main lobby area. Nothing too fancy about it. The hanging lanterns are pretty cool. But I just kind of made a spiral staircase that goes all the way up to the top, which I think looks sick. So I don't need to do the stupid parkour. About halfway up is where you get up to here, and this is where it goes off to the ship. Then if you continue going up, you come to here. This is storage. Right now, there's actually pretty much none of the storage is being used, but it's still there just in case. Just a lantern and just some chains just to keep this area lit. And when you come to the top, this is kind of like the hangout area. I have, again, another kind of just like lounging chair area where I can eat dinner and look at the beautiful view of the ship over there. I did use the map. I tried to make it so that this was centered, but I couldn't figure it out. Up here, I also added some lanterns, and I just love it up here. It's such a great mood. I just, overall, this build was super, super fun to make. It took forever, though, literally forever. And I lost a lot of things, including me dying and losing full netherite gear and a bunch of blocks. This, it was honestly about 30 hours. It'll probably be about 35 hours once I'm done editing and everything. So this has been a massive project. Definitely the biggest project I've done for a video on my channel yet. So please, please like it. After everything I've lost and all the stuff I've been through, please just like the video. You might as well. I think this is a super cool area. And this is just an overall super cool build. I think it's time for me to leave right now. It does look great. I'm very happy with how it came out. And even though it's not the biggest end city, it took me forever to make. Alrighty. Goodbye, insane build. It has been a pleasure. This, it, it has been truly fun, but I am out. It's time for me to leave.